That's a heavy door. Oh, I recognize this son of a gun. What's going on, Big D? How you holding up? I'm great. How you doing? Ah, just chilling. Just got back and he says hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. In case you gave me a lift over this way. What you up to? You checked hey, in? Man. Yeah, I'm checked in. You checked? Okay. Oh, okay. You checked in? You had a pool day. You already got beers and all that? Yeah, yeah. Well, one, I brought you one. Shoot. Yeah, buddy. Don't play. Hell yeah. All right. Game Welcome on. Thanks, Peter. Welcome to Vegas. <laughs> So this is why you always go with your boys, spinners and sharks. <laughs> is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our Patreon members for helping the channel grow. More on that later. Hey there, spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I know it's been a while, and I promise I'll address that next week, because this week we're going to Aria. And per usual, I got to flex a bit of my My Vegas muscle with two comp nights at Aria. But since it's been a while, I thought I'd roll the dice again and see just what I could get for 20 bucks at the front desk. So I folded up my MGM Rewards credit card, my $20 bill, and my driver's license and figured I'd see what I could do. I snuck up on him. I wouldn't call it an exact Kino. I wasn't trying to keno him. He knows I'm here. What's he drinking? Ooh, day two, kicking. Uh, so initially we were in the Aria Two Queen, right? And I think I might have gotten something just a little bit better. We're going to run upstairs right now, and we're going to go find out. Okay, looks like it's going to be a pretty low floor here, fourth floor. I'm not sure where that elevator is. I think it's fourth floor, fourth floor. It must be down this way. Pardon? Hey, man, quick question. Elevator, fourth floor. Oh, far end. My man, appreciate you. Ah, floor three to seven. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm just the bellboy. <laughs> Most expensive bellboy ever. Gonna have to buy this man some whiskey. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So it's been about uh, 60 years since we started the video. We're uh, finally to the end. Um, Jr. and Mark have had separate birthdays already, twice now, and this appears to be the room. So we're gonna go ahead and get the key. So we'll take a knee and in we go. Okay, Spencer and Sharks, here we are. We are dead center in the middle of uh, the walkway here. So this is where you come in. So you come in on the inside and you got a full mirror over here so you can check the hair. My hair is insane right now. Uh, but you can check that, check your fit before you hit the strip. Shout out to my main man, TVP, of course, of course. And then we go back inside over here. This is going to be the bathroom. And everything lights up. So we have the ring light on the mirror. It's a mirror ring light. Good stuff. And then we do have a sink over here. With the towels, there doesn't seem to be much under Gotta have the tissues for allergy season, that's critical. Then bathroom over here. Two rolls of toilet paper, that's important. There's the uh, standard roll of toilet paper and then the emergency roll right there. And of course, toilet is, okay, that's nice and clean. So that's good. It's in pretty good shape there. We do a little turnaround, waste baskets on the other side of the toilet, door closes, and a nice little internal lock over here in case they need it. And then coming back out this way, again from the entryway, we go in. Uh, and then we have our open living room here. Television just mounted on the, uh, on the, I was gonna say the pillar in the, co <laughs> in the column at the same time. So on the pillar, good stuff. Uh, we have exactly one Deuter. Uh, Deuter does not come with the room normally. That was a bonus. That, that's actually why I got it uh, so cheap. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, we also do 
Uh, so there's a little extra chair over there. And then we have the classic no-go zone. The Aria bar. I'm assuming you haven't grabbed those snacks. And we have the mini bar over here. Very critical that you don't touch any of this because it's radically overpriced. Just go across the street. ABC is right across the street, guys. But neat thing that we do have. Oh, we do have a fridge. We got a proper fridge so we can actually put our snacks in here. Denise hooked us up with some snacks, so we're going to put those snacks in there. And then we have the top bar over here where you can get your ice and get your cups and uh, have your drinks. So that's pretty crucial. But that's pretty awesome. And now we'll have to check out the bedroom. Going into the bedroom to check that out. And we've got controls over here so we can actually open the drapes, open the shears, and they open up something fierce. Here we go. Long range. So not too bad there. And additionally, when we come in, we take an immediate right and then there's our bed. We got the Aria King suite here. So we got the King bed. The standard landline phone is on this end over here with your pen, the usual, no big deal. And oh, actually, that's pretty neat. We've got USB ports here for charging. And then regular AC outlets and another AC outlet down there. That's actually really handy. Nothing else special in here. And then, of course, we've got our full closet here. This is a little walk-in. Oh, and it comes with the Aria robe, so you can go down to the uh, to the pool in style. I'll probably still wear my uh, my Hokage robes. So that'll be kind of dope. And then we've got the Aria flops over here, too. And then you've got the safe in case you need to store anything. That's probably about 15 and a inch, yeah, 15 and a half inch laptop safe. And then you just uh, lock it up. Beyond the safe, we also, on the other side of the bed, we do have the tablet. Now, we've learned from previous videos that you can actually control the room from here, so you can do temperature, lighting, drapes, all that good type of stuff. And you can also do takeout, you can pick up bars, uh, you can order salon services, so if you want to get like your nails done, if you want to get your hair cut, if you want to get a massage, that sort of stuff, they do spa and salon over here. And we also have the media center, if you want to plug in your laptop or your gaming console don't know why you bring a gaming console to vegas you're in the gaming capital of the world but if you want to you can connect it to your television that way and then hook that on up and that uh that remote is very prominently displayed here in the middle of this little tray here so that's pretty cool okay and coming into the bathroom it looks like we've got, if we turn immediately to the left, we've got a frosted door here. I imagine this is, yes, indeed, the water closet. I kind of wish it was a solid door, but the frosted door does have a certain amount of style to it. So you've got some artwork on the wall, and then you look down. Obviously, you've got the toilet over there, double toilet paper, and oh, wait, hold up? I think this has bidet functionality. Here it is. Here are the controls here. So <laughs> you can do a rear cleansing and a front cleansing and a dryer and all that good type of stuff there. So you have a washlet control here right above the toilet paper. And that's pretty handy. And additionally, you have a phone just in case of emergencies. People always wonder about that, but yeah, you can, in, in case there's an emergency, you can use that to call. So that's pretty neat. The water closet's got more features than most bathrooms. And then of course, you've got a little couple's sink over here. So it can be his and hers, hers and hers, his and his. I don't care, just wash your hands. But point is, you each have your own individual mirror here that you guys can work with. So, you aren't bumping into each other, aren't leaning into each other. Super cool. Basic toiletries. So we got the uh, hand lotion over here. We got soap over here and over here. And then immediately below, of course, you have your set of towels. So one person's towels, hand towel, body towel, and then washcloth. Same thing on this side over here. And I'm assuming... They've got the hair dryer in here. They do indeed. So, 
hair dryers in there. That actually, that shower looks pretty nice. Uh, nice high shower head, so that's great. Shower head's real high up there. They've got a bench, so that's great if you're disabled or if you have pain problems and whatnot. Good stuff. Roomy enough for one person, or at least two if you know what I mean. There we go. And this is appropriate Ace of Vegas height. I'm even six feet, so you guys know it's a safe bet. If you're too much taller than that, I imagine it'd get problematic. But otherwise, not too bad. They've got another washcloth in here, so you can start with that immediately. Outstanding. And of course, the bath mats here, and another body towel here. So that's great. More control in here, and a tiny little Samsung flat screen here. What is that? Nice little 19 inch flat screen in case you want to watch something um, from your bathtub. So they've got the tub all set up over here. Uh, and oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's got jets. Look at that. It's got jets. Uh, let's see what we've got in here. That's a flower petal. It's a nice little flower petal. No, that's plastic. This is plastic. Okay. MGM Grand's over there. You can also see the Aria tram that takes you between Aria and uh, Park MGM, Bellagio, all those places. Crystals. That's kind of the area. And here it comes right now, just for presentation purposes. It's almost like a timeless. All right, Spinners and Sharks, and that's it. That is the Aria King Corner Suite Tour. So shout outs again to the front desk and shout outs to uh, Water Wilds and Weeds. If you haven't checked him out, I've got his channel in the description box down below. Um, also, mad shout outs to uh, Denise Z for picking me up uh, from the airport and making me a nice little goodie bag. I'm going to get down on that before I take my nap. And then after that, straight back to the strip. But until next time, Ace of Vegas signing out. Oh, that's a good. Actually, that's kind of a nice bed right there. Oh, before we leave, got to show y'all a little something else that came with the suite. Check it out. All right, so pretty cool little spot here. They got a little concierge desk on the side. And then on the other half, they have snacks that you can enjoy. Now I'm kind of chilling over here in the sitting section. I'm enjoying my uh, Jurassic Park book here. So I'm gonna go enjoy that. You just have to make sure you show your room key. So if you got a suite, you have to show your room key. But yeah, otherwise also I'm having some candy, so don't mind the crunching, I'm so sorry guys. But yeah, no, we have got a television in the corner over here. A couple of snack plates people have been using. You walk around the center, and there's some um, coffee and other snacks and all that, so it's pretty cool. Another television in the corner here. Definitely quieter than most of the casino here, so I do appreciate the VIP lounge. Also, you can't hit any place that uh, has tea on tap, so that's really good. And you can have a little sugar while you're in Vegas, too, so that's a good thing. All right, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's room tour. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a minute to shout out our patrons. Guys, it means the world to me that you've chosen to support me in this way all this time and keep Ace of Vegas afloat. You can learn more about our Patreon in the description box down below. In the meantime though, what do you think of the corner suite? Was it a good upgrade or do you think I could have pushed for more? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva. Vegas.